Okay, here is the unit assembled in the box. This is about how they'll be shipped out. That's how we currently do it now with the DIY units. Of course, you got the instructions. That's posted on the, on the site there, and you should download those. Of course, they'll come with it here. Always read the instructions. And um, there we go. There's the nice uh, enclosed power supply. Long cord. And um, the uh, bubble side is attached to the LED side. And right now, the magnets are installed. It comes with this cardboard just to keep it separated while it's being shipped. There we go. This is the 1X. This is the biggest one. It has four LEDs for the most filtering power because the more light you have, the stronger the photosynthesis, and that means the more the more filtering you get. I'll sand this a little bit in the back here. And the bubble side. And that's uh, the 1X gets the big screen. This is the attachment screen or otherwise known as the attachment surface. This is green grabber material. It's a rock hard and it's designed to be the same rock that, you, that is on the beach that uh, algae attaches to at the beach. So it's right at home trying to attach on the green grabber material which goes all the way up, all the way up here, all the way around so almost every possible space is is uh, coated with the green grabber rock hard material. It's very very rough, and uh, it's kind of it's kind of kind of sharp too. So that's very that's very rough. So of course the air goes down here, comes out here, bubbles up and divides here, goes up the attachment surface the light coming through the aquarium wall here lights up the attachment surface and then algae grows here real important to understand that this is not just to filter out algae out of the water it's not a filter sponge or it's not a screen it's not floss it's nothing like that it's attachment surface where algae actually grows so later you'll see it actually growing on here and then the bubbles go out the top they come out this second tube right here and um, and they go either up to the water or out a tube out the top and of course the magnets are installed and uh, I'll plug this in just to uh, just to uh, show you the light the 1x has four LEDs it's the strongest one the HOG1 has two LEDs. It's the medium size. And the HOG.5 is the smallest one. It only has one LED and is good for lower filtering applications. And uh, the .5 has a smaller screen. It's only this big. But the 1 and the 1X have the full screen like this. And they have more magnets too. So let me plug that in. Alrighty, so there's your four LEDs for the 1X. And again, the HOG1 has two LEDs, and the HOG.5 has one LED. And of course, this is going to connect on the aquarium wall. Like that. And uh, that is the that is the famous 
red glow that uh, if you turn off the lights or if you're running it at night in your living room or your bedroom you'll see the red glow come out from the edge of the wall here and uh, that's going to happen um, no matter what because it's actually escaping through the aquarium glass uh, it's, it's, uh, and that's not going to change so there's always going to be a red glow around the edge not much at all coming out of the the holes here or the ones on the bottom or on the top it's mostly all on the side so that's that's going to be that's not going to change and of course you just uh, connect up your power cord to your timer you never run the light 24 hours you want to run it like 20 hours 19 hours 18 hours something like that and of course the air pump is going to connect here and uh, the air pump you're going to leave on 24 hours. You don't really want to turn the air pump off.